My name is Ahalia and I'm from Alberta, Canada. Some of my hobbies include debate, badminton, and of course composing. I started composing when I was 13 years old in grade 8. That was when the pandemic had just begun and schools were closed and clubs were closed, so I had a lot of free time on my hands. My experience with flat back then was very limited and I'd only used it once before for a band assignment. But in spite of that, I decided to try it out, and I began making short arrangements. From there, I ventured to original compositions, which is mainly what I do now. What I really like about music is that there's no way to get it wrong. There are no rules, no guidelines. It's all about what you want your music to be, and how you're going to achieve that. Interestingly enough, I actually had very little history with music prior to flat. I had dabbled in piano and violin, but never actually pursued them, and I was only in band for one year. Yet once I discovered that I could actually create my own music, and I could manipulate notes and instruments to make them convey what I want them to, my interest in music shot up. It was an outlet through which I could express myself in a unique and original way. I don't think I have a specific style. Rather, I compose what I feel and what I want to express through my music. However, I think my music does have close ties to EDM and sometimes even pop. When I first started composing, I took a lot of inspiration from Alan Walker's music. My early compositions have the typical chord progressions you would hear in songs like Faded and Spectre. Currently, much of my inspiration comes from present flat users. By learning from my peers and friends on flat, and seeing how their music differs from mine, I can discover a lot about what steps I can take to improve my music and my ability to compose. My favorite piece that I've written is called The Forgotten Requiem, and part of the reason I like it so much is because it's so different from my other pieces. It has a more haunted feel to it and it carries a lot of emotion. Overall, it encompasses what I want all of my pieces to capture. Its depth and feeling is what makes it the piece that I'm the most proud of so far. I want to send out a huge thank you to my peers on flat and especially to the FLAT staff for giving me an opportunity to share my voice on their platform, both through this interview and through my music in general. Bye!